Hi, this is Dan from RealMac Software and today I'm going to carry on with the website we started in the previous two tutorials. Hopefully we'll flesh out the page a little bit more today and this will wrap up the third tutorial. Right, uh, let's open up our site which we were building uh, in the previous tutorials. There we are. Uh, everything's exactly as it was at the finish of the last tutorial. So I'm going to dive in um, and we're going to get started on the next section. Let's head over to Chrome and I'm just going to look at what we had here. Right. Yep. So I'm going to look at doing this layout here, which is a little bit tricky because we've got um, an image uh, centered on the, on the right there. So let's head over here and what we're going to do, we're going to go down to Foundry. I'm going to drop in another container. Um, what else are we going to need? Let's have a look here. We're going to need, um, where are they? Right next to it, the columns. We're going to need a couple of columns. We also want an image, uh, not a gallery. We actually want an image there. Uh, we'll drop in a heading and where's the text? Uh, paragraph, there we are. Right, let's uh, open the inspector, grab the image. Uh, I have them already downloaded in my resources. We just need to get the correct one. There's a sidebar image. Now, if we hit preview on this, let's have a look. Uh, so the contents there, um, you can see we've got a big gap down the side here. That's not looking uh, quite how we want it um, or how it's shown in, in, in the current web page. So let's see if we can uh, mimic this in here. What I will do is we'll, have, we'll take some of this text while we're here. Easy page management. Pop back over there. We'll grab that text. Uh, first thing, we'll do the easy stuff first, which is to right align the text. Um, and I think last time, let's check H2 typeface 1. Let's swap that to typeface 1. Uh, preview. Okay, that's still showing very bold. What's going on there? Let's have a look at this. Ah, we dropped the weight 300. So if I drop the weight to 300, uh, and then to make this bold, like the actual web web page, we're going to pop in some B tags there, which will make it bold. Let's preview that. Good. That is looking good. Uh, now we need to work on this a little bit. Um, so to start with, we need our container to run, to be fluid and to run width to width, edge to edge. Uh, I'll click this as well, edge to edge container. I don't know if we need to do that, but I'm going to click it anyway. Uh, ah, here we are. Right. So that's put it to the side and it's very big. Um, and also this text is running side to side. So that's, you know, and it's not centered either. So that's not, um, not looking exactly right yet. So one thing I know we can do, we need to center this vertically and there is a stack for that. Of course there is. Uh, we'll pop that in there. This this vertical stack will, well, center it vertically for us. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's looking a bit better. Um, that image is too big. Uh, image sizing, max width, 600. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, starting to shape up. We're still running to the edge here and now because we've set a limit to 600 this isn't running straight to the edge so I think uh, let's let's make that right go right there we are so that's to the right um, yeah now uh, what I'm going to do is to bring this in more um, I'm going to drop this into another container and drop that in there and that's giving us a bit more space there that's good and what I will do I'm going to tell that container to be 600 wide let's see maybe we're going to go a little bit more on that let's try 500 yeah okay that's 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 looking better that is looking better. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm fairly happy with that right now. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, 
just checking a few things out. Uh, okay, right. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's leave that how it is for now. Um, and the next bit, um, I mean, with these, you would just do the opposites if you wanted to lay those out. Uh, I was thinking about laying out a gallery, um, something like this. So let's just borrow that text. Um, paragraph in, paste in that text and center it. I mean, arguably, maybe this should be a, a header, like a header four or something, H4. Um, but we won't worry about that for now. Let's get a container because this is not, not contained. Um, we can drop that in there. I mean, here we could, uh, where's this? This was from last time, wasn't it? Uh, where are we? I could say screenshots. Um, what's that font size? 120, 120, 180. Let's make that a bit smaller. Screenshots. Very nice. Uh, and what we need now is a gallery. And I think this has a gallery. Pop up gallery. Um, I think it has a normal gallery in here as well. Let's do a little search. Ah, gallery. Uh, so I'm going to drop that in there. And let's screenshot one. I've obviously pre grabbed these. Uh, four, so we're all ready to go. Five, four, rather. Uh, we don't need those. So let's preview that. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this um, this gallery is working, uh, but I don't like the way it's cropped them square. And I don't think there's no, you know, there's only options to have them square in the gallery there. I don't think any of the settings can, um, I don't think you can alter how they display. I mean, we can, well, we can put two per row, but that, still makes them here we are two that still makes them square uh, not really what I was after so uh, yeah that's no that's not that's not great is it especially let's compare it to the actual site here um, we've got this nice grid and they pop up so um, this is this looks much better in my opinion than than these squares so uh, the way to fix this, um, I think the potion pack could help us out. Now this is an add-on pack for Foundry available uh, from Elixir Graphics. So I'm gonna drop in a grid stack, which gives us a nice grid. And then I'm gonna use the zoom stack. So let's get rid of this. Um, this basically allows you to zoom an image anywhere in, in the page, wherever you use this. Uh, so let's, let's see, um, zoom indicator. Ah, I think that's like a rollover effect. Yes. Very nice. So that looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop these here. We'll get rid of these uh, and the grid. I'm sure we can. Yeah configure let's put four to a row and let's uh, we'll, we'll clear that clear um, I copied them just so they had the same settings but now uh, we just want to put in the other put in the other uh, images um, let's pop that in there let's have a look Ah, oh, yeah, that's much better. That's a lot more like the the actual site. Um, and I'm going to create a little bit of padding uh, bottom. Let's go for 50 there. Push the footer away a little bit. In fact, probably go 100 on that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and because we've got um, 
this container here. I could, uh, I was wondering about making the background type, yeah, whether we could just make that slightly uh, off white. I think that. Uh, let's just go a little bit. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, this footer needs, you can see there, it's it's butting up right against the bottom. Um, so what we could do with footer generic, the container there, uh, I think we add a little bit of padding to the top. Um, let's go 100 and see how that looks. Might be too much, but no, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the way that's looking. Uh, you can easily see how I could continue to flesh out this site, tweak the style of the text, um, you know, add more sections. Um, yeah, it's all quite straightforward, really. Once I think once you understand the stacks uh, and you understand how this works, it's it's very quick to build nice looking uh, pages like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, let's give let's publish that. done um, publish setup let's uh, I was just checking where where I've published it uh, there and then if I go to the site let's have a look our buttons there yeah that's all looking good screenshots yeah very good as easy as that um, okay, I'm going to wrap up uh, this tutorial and probably this series as I think that's um, enough of a, a dive into this and how to set up a basic page. And I mean, I've not really gone over all of the other things you can do. There are so many nice uh, stacks here to give your site a bit of a different look, a bit of an edge, you know, add more. Uh, there's a lot of animation you can add. Um, and effects so I mean you could continue working on this to really refine it um, but yeah I mean I hope you found this useful uh, and it's given you um, a bit more of a insight into how I put together the real Max site and hopefully given you some inspiration of how you can apply these techniques to your own website all right thanks a lot for watching and happy weaving <laughs>